crafty friends Jen Cassell here I'm back with another scrap diva project and I can't believe I've waited so long to play with this die um I've had it since she released her uh, newest release uh towards the beginning of the month and it is so stinking cute so this is the golf cart die uh it's got a lot of little pieces to it and it's a lot of fun to put together um, I did two of them for you, and I'm going to show you how I did each of these. So the first one, I added this cute little grass here, and this is another Scrap Diva die. This came with the Easter Bunny memory decks, uh, the one with the two bunnies kissing. Super, super cute. But I've used that grass die a lot. It's a fun little die to have in your stash. And then, as you can see, I just layered a whole bunch of foam in here to make it super dimensional. I added a little banner at the top. And then these are some of the stickers from the Round Trip collection. Um, I'm going to be using that collection today. It's a Maggie Holmes collection. It came out uh, earlier or maybe later last year. I didn't use it too much when I got it, but I do have um, one of the six by eight paper packs, a whole bunch of the ephemera, and then I also bought the digital collection as well. And then for the second one, I did this cute little shaker. Um, I am going to show you how I made it a shaker, but it's super, super fun. I um, used the Sakura flower dye. Now, if you got this, lucky you, because it's sold out at the shop. But head on over and get notified when it comes back into stock, because I have a feeling this is going to sell right out again, too. Uh, it is it is such a cute dye. This has been one of my favorite flowers to play with. It's just super dainty and fun. And I use my favorite leaves that you see in just about every single project. But um, let's put this dye together. Okay, so as you can see, I've cut out um, the dyes twice in the gold, and this is gonna be my base. I did it with this adhesive foam. Um, and then I did twice in the acetate. Now I have an older machine that I use for this. The roller, they don't cut as well as they used to and don't apply as much pressure as um, my newer machine. So I keep that for when I'm doing, you know, something like this, where I want it to cut through the acetate or at least make a mark, but not cut through the whole thing completely. Uh, you could also just cut it out and then um, adhere your acetate without cutting it and then just use an X-Acto knife around it. That's another option as well. But if you have an older machine or you're using a thicker acetate that you know is not going to cut through, uh, you can just kind of run it through the machine and use it like this. And once again, I've cut that twice. Now, here are all my other um, little guys right here. So first I'm going to take the back off and put my acetate down. Okay, so I have my acetate onto my foam and then I'm gonna put my reverse on with just a little bit of glue. And this I just found adds a nicer finish to it and it does kind of help make your um, embellishment a little sturdier. The Barely Art glue is going to dry real quick on this. Took off that top, and I'm going to add my shaker mix. I just have a little bit of this left over. Now I'm just going to come in with my second layer of acetate and drop it on top. So moving along, we're just going to pop this on top. and start putting together the rest of our die. All right, so the seat cushions, I added some foam to, just to give it a little added dimension. So I did double layer these. Um, just to, once again, add some dimension and some sturdiness. This is gonna be a really solid embellishment when we're done. And once again, you want a real quick dry glue if you're using this gold paper because it's so slick. 
because you don't want to ruin your project. Oh my gosh. This is adorable. So I will put him right here. There we go. And then one last for the top. Oh my gosh. Would you just look at that? How oh, cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to throw in another flower on this. I have a cute blue one here. I'm thinking about doing the blue. And then maybe I've got this cool leaf along with, this is another Capsella leaf. Um, I love Erica's dyes, but her floral dyes are just unbeatable. Love, love, so cute. So cute. I might change the color of the center of this flower though to make it pop a little more. Cute, 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 cute. So this is what we have so far. So I'm back and I grabbed some of my color pops. I am going to change the center of these wheels just with a little bit of color. I think I'm gonna do the flower center in this dusty rose. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Super fun, right? Super, super cute. So next I have these adorable um, non-shaker ones that I created. And I did the let's go. And then I also did this one right here. Now the grass is a Scrap Diva die as well. All I did for the banners was use another Scrap Diva die. Uh, this, this one is the scalloped uh, doily heart that is in with the flower mini album. And I just cut a little bit off the edge here and then used it as like a little banner this one I did a little smaller and then I did some mini flags off of it too. Uh, and then I embellished with some of the um, stickers from the sticker book. These are great for embellishment. I was thinking I would show you some of the different uh, ways you could kind of embellish these a little more. I did cut um, some of these out. Uh, this is more of the scalloped heart. Um, I grabbed a couple rosettes out too. My lovely friend Michelle makes these rosettes for me because she knows that I love to use them, but I hate to, to make them. So whenever we swap, we always, or she always sends me a ton. So I was thinking, um, you know, maybe you could do something like that or add, you could do that here. Get it on. That is adorable. Absolutely adorable. And I even have this here. Really, really stinking cute. Or I have a little shaker started here. Um, that would be kind of fun. If I did that with this. Super cute, right? So thank you for watching. Head on over to Scrap Diva. Um, this is in stock now and it's at a really good price. You can save even more using my coupon code GEN10 for 10% off your purchase. I will show you all of her socials right here. Make sure you use that has hashtag Scrap Diva Designs. So much inspiration from the design team and, you know, the die cutting community out there. And, um, 
let me know what you think of my uh, little embellishments and I'd love to see what you do with this. So tag me in your creations if you're using, you know, one of my ideas. I love seeing it. So I will see you in the next crafty video. Bye.